Okay, I'm back. All right. This looks like it's done. Wow. Oh, my Lanta. I think there really was a lower of the day where I got out of that. Be out of it. It doesn't look right now. And I told you if it didn't break. And it didn't hit 69. <sighs> okay. What was I just saying? Oh, it goes, it goes, one, I think once your risk becomes a certain amount of money, it becomes increasingly hard to come back because then the amount of risk you have to take with, with what you're already down, even that you have to make, you have to make then a certain amount of money than the R's and you have to take the size. And the problem is, as the day goes on, the stops get bigger. So for example, okay, the amount of size you have to take has to be megalodonish. And therefore, if, and then you'd be coming back maybe only to break even or half a loss. And then you're only coming back for what purpose not to make money. So you got to really think about that. And that's what I was realizing like yesterday. And then you just say to yourself, is it really worth it? Because you're under stress. If the first trade or the second trade fails, you're under stress. And then you're having to take more risk. I'm talking money-wise, okay, that you might be down so much that you have to get the stock to go to some, do some crazy move or have a crazy entry that you may not get as the day goes on. Like I'm talking about after 11. But anyways, getting back to what I was saying, I really think it is more important for me than ever right now to have my mental state right. So for me, I've realized that one of the reasons I've been trading so well is because I know that my mental state has to stay intact and that that's actually even more important to me now than the money. So keeping my mental state intact, once in a blue moon, the gaps don't work. And my mental state is intact when that happens. It doesn't bother me. Luckily, it's not been that often, but we'll go over the one from yesterday. Everyone should be out of this stock. What? This is so whippy though, it could set up again. But you should have taken the profit. It went to the target. It could set up again and go back down to the low of the day, but not this second. So one of the reasons I've been trading so well is because I need my mental state to stay intact because I'm doing things now where I'm gonna be doing things in front of so many people that I have to be accurate. So it's actually heightened my level of accuracy. I'm getting ready for it. I think that's been really obvious. I mean, even Tom has been emailing me. I don't, I've never seen you trade better. I don't even know who you are anymore. I want to give you $10 million. I mean, which I'm not going to take, but the reality is that even Tom is like, what, you know, but you know, I do feel bad when I call a trade that doesn't work when we lose or the room loses. I don't think anyone in the world cares about their clients when they actually lose like me. And I know that you expect me to be perfect now because I've been really perfect lately. Don't think that that isn't going to change. I still continue to want to strive to be good. But every once in a while, a gap isn't going to work. But I will go over with you something about the one from yesterday I saw. Uh, the cues. Yes, the cues are still along. I called it long. Look how it took off there right before I called it. Oh, my Lanta. Is anyone in the market? I called it, and you could tighten up the stop now. Forget about it. That's the low of the day. And I told you to put it at 80. You could put it at 90. Is anyone in the QQQs long? This is the call. This is better than the SPY. Reds in the Qs long? Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, it's more important for me than ever now to be accurate because of my mental state, which is like 160 degrees opposite of the way that I used to be for like my whole life, which is really weird. It's like I used to be more concerned about the money than anything else. That's all that mattered. And this just even confirms. This is the confirmation of what I'm saying to you and how I feel now and everything, my whole journey in this, which is everything I taught you that I know, which is taking me back to the original space that I was in when I was teaching myself this. 
The knowledge and how you feel about what you're doing means more than the money. And if you focus on that, you will make more and you will be, you will end up making more. And that is what has happened to me this year. But I'm telling you that in my mind, my mental state, my confidence level it has been more important to be accurate this year than anything else, than the money. And that has translated into me making more. But there are some days where I just don't like something and I don't do it. And sometimes I call it and it works and I'm pass. But it's because in my mind, in my mental state, I wouldn't feel good if I did it, if it was right on the cusp of the rating or I just didn't like it or I was anti the market that day or whatever in my mind decided I wasn't gonna do it. Even if it works, because my mental state is more important than anything else. Here, if this sets up, I'll call it again, but I really think that was a morning move. This can't go over 22, though. This can't go over 22. If it goes over 22, it really is done. Now, let's go over all the gaps. You were only going to give me $9 million. All right, well, were we splitting the profits, or... <laughs> SHW this looks like an ugly beast in here 25 cent spread I think I'll pass wow it's more than that look at that it's insane let's look at Netflix I didn't even look at the earnings last night for this this just looks strange now let this be on its own Anyways, there was a point I was trying to make. If you want to do this, you could do this 84, 84 by, I mean, 84 by 02. It's got to be almost 20 cents. It's 20 cents. 22, 2184 by 22 02. It's got to be over 22. If you want to do this in here, if that hits. But I would be done. Um, getting back to what I was saying, your mental state is important. Once you start to focus on the knowledge and your mental state and doing what you know is right, it actually helps you become a better trader and make more money. I've proved that to myself once again this year with my accuracy level. But sometimes the gaps won't work, and that's a fact. So we just have to chalk it up, and there's nothing that we can do. Let's look at these ones since everybody seems to be dreaming in their mind to talk about these things. FCS is done there's no way it went to the target into the into the into the open so once that happened and it flipped and it also reverse swooshed it was done there was nothing to do here this will never see the low of the day today this is completely done 100 percent conviction and no chance of failure that fcs is a failure today in the bearish gap down it didn't work we never did it why because i read in i read i read two seconds before the open it what you heard it in my voice you heard in my voice, I was like, crap, okay? And I don't say that about everything because sometimes things can go to another target. This is done. It will never see red today. The body of the bar will be green today and it will never even go near the low. So don't short it, okay? Now this, again, ugliness times 10. We talked about this before. What was the maximum level of resistance that in the room for this? Way below this number. This is trying to break. It actually did set up in here. I do not like this rally. I also don't like it when over the maximum resistance I gave. Could you have shorted this and made money? Yes. How much would you have made? Oh, this is a big stop. I don't, I don't know what the spread was in here, but this was 35 cents. Let me just look. It did have a move in here, though. If this was two R's in here, I highly doubt you would have held it down to here or even here. If you even had done this, you would have been out in here. This would have been a scalp for two R's. It's not going to work. I can't take something that looks like this. This isn't right. And I kind of was aware of that too with this. And the LTD thing is the problem with this. It's the biggest situation with this at all. No, nope, this is, see, it's, mm -mm. I'm not calling a short in this, I'm sorry. And I don't think anyone should have done a short in this. Huge stop, yep. Oh yeah, R squared said to me the other day that he thinks that I act like 
a mother in here with people or something, or what did you say? I, I think I'm too young to be a mother right now, but I mean, it's not like that. It's not that I feel like that. It's just that I do feel concerned when people lose, but you know, because I do care about everybody. I, I don't think I act like that though, do I? I just want you to do what I say, and some of you don't. The ones that do, do better, but I do care about you. I don't think it's like a mother, even though R squared said that. I think it's more, I'm too young to be a mother. But, you know, I think it's more like a friendship thing or a mentor thing. <laughs> maternal, you think it's maternal? It might be maternal instinct because I don't have children. My maternal instinct might be coming out in my mentoring. Maybe that's a better explanation for it. I'm making you tear up. You people are funny. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm a mother, but maybe it's my maternal instinct, my softy nature that makes me care that I want people to do well. What was the other thing you were gonna remind me of, R squared? There was, what was the second thing? Wow, uh, whoop. It's like, it happens like five times a year I get out of something at the low of the day and that's what we did today. Oh my lanta. It was worth it though to do the ad to think that it could push down, to, it could have gone to 2250 or 2150. All right, so I went over that one, I went over that one. Let's go over the market. And what was the other thing you were supposed to remind me of R2 squared? Here, let's go over the market. If you're in the market long, it was a nice call. And you could put the stop now at 110.90, okay? That's the low of the day. Oh, you said you love the maternalistic way I treat the room. Maybe the room is like a surrogate child for me. <laughs> a surrogate child. I don't think it's that, but I maybe I do have a maternal wish maternalistic way of dealing with the room. Maybe I do, but it's not because I want to have children. Obviously, I could have children if I want to right now. But anyways, that, that's enough said. So hopefully everyone did the TSM today and was good. Did everyone do that? And today was a good lesson actually on thinking on your feet. Thinking on your feet, on your feet, on your feet, on your feet, which is what are you gonna do? You like one thing, all of a sudden it changes, it changes immediately, what are you gonna do? You rate more than one thing in the morning, you've got several things prepared, you flip to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing. This didn't set up right, so then I flip to the next thing. I still don't think this breaks the low of the day. It's trying desperately to though. Again, these LTDs, these are not my favorite. Is anyone in this? Honestly, if you're in this, you should be out of it if it doesn't break the low. If you're not, I never called it and I don't, I don't, I wouldn't have, so. Again, you have to have reasons for calling stuff. It can't just be that you like the gap. You have to ha take the gap and then you have to have the entry. Again, so you think on your feet, you like the gap, you watch it, it doesn't set up right, you're off. That's how you don't lose money, okay? So that's why you have to know A, what to look at and B, how to trade it. And it's not just even the bars, it's seeing the way it acts in live time. This didn't act right, right. This didn't act right. Okay, I just didn't. So I really thought in my feet today flipping to this or we wouldn't have had anything to do. I wouldn't have lost money, but I would have made money and I didn't make money today. So the right thing to do in this was this. And really we were aggressive in this today because you could have taken more here and then you could have taken more here, even though that was really aggressive, but I was quickly calculating in my head where it would have gone and how it would have paid me. But then I, re I, I reacted when I saw it didn't, didn't, it touched on the number and didn't break it. Boy, that really was a number. Because this is over 22 now, so it's off. Here, I'll plop it in the room for you, Journey Woman. Hold on one sec. I'll pull that up for you. Um, what was I going to say? There was something else. Oh, I really want to see what's up tonight. Let's do that first before we talk about the market. I'm 
I'm trying to find a good definition for you here. I can't. I'll look for that later for you, Journey Woman. Let's look at what's out tonight. AMD, but it's worth nothing now, so I don't, we might not even be able to trade it. I'll put this in the list, but I don't know how we're going to be able to do it. It's probably going to be, like, worthless. This is too thin. That's fine. This looks very thin, but shouldn't be thin. Can't see it anywhere. It's too thin. This is too thin. This is too thin. This is too thin. That's too thin. Google's out tonight, although there's no way I'm doing it. Wow, this would be, this is be, hmm, let's just look at this. I think this gaps up over 600. I think this gaps up over 600 and makes a new high tonight. Boy, it'll be interesting to see after the way it's traded recently too. Oh, we may have something here, Matt. Math is a top watch, yay. Okay, we have a good one. This is fine too. This is too thin. All right, here's the stuff for tonight, but Matt's the one I like. Yes, Journey Woman. Tomorrow's Friday already. This week went really, really fast. That's really weird. This didn't break the low. Be careful. This is trying to set up again, but I really wouldn't redo it. It's wild. We had the move. I don't think it breaks the low now. It shouldn't have gone over 22. It did hold the high of the day, but I really would stop. Market is very, very, very strong. All right, let's talk about the market. Does anyone have any questions right now? And then I'm going to talk about the market. Everyone should be up today. I only called one thing or the market long, of which both worked. It has been a slow start to earnings season as far as things for me to look at of the quality. Meaning, have there been a lot of gaps? Yes. Have there been a lot of quality gaps since earnings season started one week ago today? No. So, I think we gotta wait till next week. I'm not saying we don't get something amazing tomorrow, I'm just saying I think that's unusual, but part of it could be the activity in the market, which you're seeing here now in the last few days, which we're gonna go over. 
Does anyone have anything else they want to talk about, though, or comment on or anything? Someone asked about the NCOF. That means no chance of failure. It, don't ask me if something is an NCOF. If it is, I'll say it. I'm never going to hold back. And I don't want you to say it, like, then it, I have to, like, think about it. I don't want to think about it or analyze it. I know it. I know it when I see it and I tell you. Don't make me think about it. I don't want to think about anything ever again, to be honest with you. I don't even want to think about writing a book. And I'm writing a book now. And you know what? I, I'm, it's, I just quit when I sit down and try to do it. I just say, screw it. You know what? I, I have a lot of it done. When I feel like it, I write. And when I don't, I'm not. And sometimes I'm laying in bed in the middle of the night and I think of things and I email myself an idea. It's just be in your space of the live time right now. Live in the moment where you're at. I don't want to force it, okay? Don't make me think if it's an NCOF and then you make me think like I have to say it's good or whatever. Don't do that to me. Just let me live in my own world in the morning. We shouldn't even talk until after we're out of our trades. I just got done explaining to you that I've been in this space of focus for one reason and one reason only. I'm going to be in a big stage soon. And, 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 and I really can't be wrong. Not that I never will be. Sometimes I will be, but I have never been more accurate than I am recently. And it is because I'm going to be in a big stage. And I am really just honed in like, like that. And that's why the other day, actually, I, I didn't trade. The other day I didn't trade because I felt myself not being in that, you know. So I just said, eh, uh, 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 uh. And I just didn't. But you know what? I called accurate trades for their own. So... I do need to be focused. Everyone's interesting in the NCOFs, I know. But it's July 16th. July is half over. Big whoop, okay? We've got the entire rest of earnings season, the rest of this month, all of August, into September will run. So we have a bazillion times to do NCOFs. And it's really not something that it's predictable. You know, you just don't know. We could get three in one week or none for six months. It's it's just the way it is, all right? All right, let's go over the market. Unless anyone wants to go over anything else. Let's go over the cues first. So there are people that are short the market, and that's not helping here with the, uh, well, that is helping, I should say. The part of the, th shorts are, there's people that shorted the market. All right, that, that short of the double top, the triple top, the quadruple top, that short of the gap down that happened in the fall off from Greece and thought the market was falling off a planet. I told you a thousand times it wasn't. And I also said the market isn't going to come anywhere near this 200 point moving average, and it didn't. The market in the QQQs is now making a recent high. This is not an all time high for the Qs, but it is making a recent high in the gap up today. It actually did it. And I will tell you that part of the reason the market's gapping up every morning is shorts are getting stopped out. So you, you see short covering that's making the market lift into the pre-market period. And then what I find amazing, although not really, because I've been calling the market higher and I said the buyers were gonna come in, they were gonna step in whenever they felt like it and be wary of that. Because that's how money works in the market. That's in control. And the, and, the, and the shorts were never in control of the market. And the longs were always in control of the market. And therefore you don't short the market. You go on the side of the control. The control is up. And always has been on the side of the money, of the power of the bullish side in this market for a long time. That's where the control lies. And be ready for it to step in every second you're breathing, which is exactly what happened here. And I don't even know why I'm surprised, even though I have called the market long every day this week. And it was right. And it was aggressive because these gaps really in the market weren't that good. But that just goes to show you. When power money wants to step in, it'll step in in a good gap, a bad gap, a medium gap, or any gap. The market's been gapping up because shorts have been covering. It created the lift. And then the buying just comes in. The buying's just coming in. The buying's just flat out coming in and holding it on the day. You would not have the market holding here and this gap up right in here now if you wouldn't have it being supported with buyers. There are buyers that are supporting the market or this would be dropping. There are buyers that supported the market in the last three days or this, like this gap here really was the one. I mean, when I look at this gap and the way we ran the 14th, two days ago, I was like, oh my lanta. Because even in the morning when I called this, which was not like right out of the gate, but soon after, I was like, oh my lanta because of the fact that I really, really was surprised how that they were supporting this gap that is not that great, but they did. And the fact is that this was proof positive and confirmation that the market was higher for me the way that we acted here because the buying stepped in and held it and bought it, it got bought. And, and this is, this we would not be sitting here like an angel at 1015 in this gap without buyers.
45 minutes we're sitting up here. How are we doing this? Buyers. And even though you're seeing red, and even if we go red, the fact that we did see this is what I'm this is what I try to teach you, obviously. <clears throat> and I'm talking long term here now. I'm not talking intraday. Okay. Anyways, the bottom line is that uh, we still haven't seen the aggressive move over the high. I have no idea when it happened. But we have made a new high in the QQQs. Maybe it happens, the aggressive move when the SPY gets over the high. Will the SPY get over the high this week? No. I think that's a stretch. It's a way away. I don't think that happens this week. Could it happen in July? It could happen in July now. And I wasn't sure if it happened in July or August, but I did think it would happen by September or before September or by early September. I thought that we would do it. And so, again, long-term targets here on the market are still in play. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with this market. And it never did anything wrong. And even though the SPY broke the 200 period moving average, it doesn't matter anyways. The SPY has been moving far, far, far ahead of the queues for the last however many weeks and months and years. So it doesn't really matter. Because remember, this moving average really doesn't mean all that much. It has some meaning, but not everything in the world. So the price action just came in slightly in the SPY, did not in the queues as much to retest the period of the price level and then lift it off. And so it doesn't matter. It didn't matter that it broke it. It didn't matter that it's happened. It didn't matter that it got down. There was no weakness that was happening here. We've been sideways for most of the calendar year of 2015, and that is very unusual. I would read it as bullish or bullish slash neutral, but many people would look at the market. If you look at from February until now, and say that the market has been in a sideways range. They would look at this here, all of this here, and they would say that the most of the year of 2015, the market has been in a sideways range. I'm looking at this as very bullish activity. I'm probably a rare person to say that. I don't think a lot of people would, but I'm telling you this is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly bullish. And I really can't think of a time that I've traded and seen us acting like this for such a long time. Like we have acted this like this for periods. We were like this here and then we took off. And we did that back here, I think it was 2013. We did this here and then we took off. And we've done it other places. I mean, it doesn't matter. I remember since I've had the room, we've done it other times. But I'm just saying, I really, this is the longest time of the length of time that we've gone, that we have looked like this before we made the move. But I will tell you that that's a sign. It's a sign of confirmation that everything I've said about the market is going to play out to be 100% correct and true, that the market is going to make an incredible move higher. I mean, it's just going to burst free into the infinity. It is really, this is the longest I've seen us do this, and that means one thing and one thing only. We are going to blow. And that's what I said to the gentleman that I was talking to last week, the investment guy. I just said, I said, Paul, we're going to blow. And we are really going to blow. And the numbers that he gave him, like, we're going to go past those numbers. We are going to blow. I've never seen the market this, like, act like this for this long. And that is one meaning and one meaning only. We are going to blow. And I never thought it'd take us this long to do it, but the more longer it takes, the bigger the blow. So for those of you that are in the market long-term as a long, as an equity trade, the options you have to watch the timing, but for those of you that are in the market for a long-term equity trade, the market is going to blow and you're gonna really get paid. And by the way, this is even holding here now. See, look at this. I mean, what a pillar of strength. The market would never look like this if this wouldn't be supported with buying. This, it w we would never be holding this gap. We would never be able to hold this gap like this. In fact, let me just look at it. I should really read the market cap for today. Let me just look at something here. Any questions from anyone?
This is good. Any questions from anyone about the market or anything today? Tomorrow's Friday. Let's close up the week strong. I don't know what we're going to get. I like math tonight. I have no idea where it gaps. Google's out. I think it gaps up. That'll be a shock for a lot of people with the way it ran in the last few days. But I'm telling you, I think it gaps over 600. Seattle Traders did a great job. Thank you. Think about what I said today about feeling good about yourself, about being in control. I really think I'm not going to be taking more than two trades a day anymore. I think that's the right thing to do with the size I'm taking because I just think it is. And your mental state is more important than anything else. And really, you should get it right. Even though that sounds like not that much. We get it right usually in one trade every day, the first one. So to not get it right in two, something's wrong. And really the market is just very, 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 very strong. I think I would predict it all along. Thank you, Melissa. Two trades are enough to take. When I was looking at the QQQs with one chart in the box in the last for the three average numbers, What's your question? When I was looking at the QQQs on the one minute chart, or the daily, what chart are you talking about here? Give me a, give me a time frame, journey moment. What are you talking about? The daily, all right, fine. What about it? What do you want to know? What the last high was over here? 111.16. Go on a day? Which day? Which day do you want me to look at here on the QQQs? 111. Any day I get? Okay, today. The high today is 111.42. The low is 111.07. Today. The QQQs. I just saw something here now. <sighs> Market's really going to have a big bullish day tomorrow. <gasps> I just, just came to me as I'm sitting here. The market is going to have a very, very bullish day tomorrow. Unless unless we gap down. And and, I, and, I, and we here, I just, I'm making a call right now. I just saw it. If we gap down tomorrow, this will not happen. But I'm telling you, if we gap neutral or up, we are going to run like the Dickens tomorrow. And I'm not saying we blow tomorrow, but I'm saying we're going to have a bullish day. And therefore, we better darn well get a good bearish gap. Or it might be math. What do you mean the numbers on the box on the left? I have no idea what box you're talking about. I don't even know what box you are talking about. I have no boxes. You mean that this, this is the price action right here moving. Is that the box you mean? This is the moving price. It's moving. I can't give you a number. You can just look at it. It's moving. It's not the same. This is the price live right now in this second. The QQQs is gapping at, or it is trading at 11128, but this is moving. If I give you a number, it'll change. This is moving. Yeah, this is it right here. That, that little box you called it. Thank you for today's lecture. You always encourage me to do better. You'll continue to manifesting good things. We will get a good gap tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Let's ask the magic eight ball, shall we? Then we can feel good about ending our day. So we are asking the magic eight ball if we're gonna get a good short gap tomorrow that we're gonna be able to make money in early and quickly to be out of it because it's Friday and the market could scream higher tomorrow. Yes, very clear. Whew. Does that answer your question, Journey Woman, before we go? That number's moving. I can't give you a set number. You just look at it and see. I 
I don't understand your question then. Write it in the room before we go. And anybody else's questions too. Anyone else? Point on a day. Okay. I see the price points in a box on the upper left of the chart. Okay, there it is. What do you want to know? There's the square. What do you want to know about that? This is today. You have the high, the low, the open, the close, the volume. Um, I don't even know. I never use those things. Whatever they mean, I don't use them. So I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, I could look it up, but if I don't use it, I don't need it. I don't use that here. Look at this. Look. Is anyone on the market? Oh, my Lanta. Yeah, I don't use them. I don't use it. I don't know what it means. There's 7,000 things on here that I don't use. You do realize that now. I mean, there's 7,000 things on my other thing I don't use. <laughs> I mean, I... Honestly, if you want to learn everything you've got on here for the bells and whistles on all your thing, go for it. I'd just rather go to the gym. And I don't need anything else because I figure it out my with what I got. No. If you want to learn other things, go for it. I can't tell you what those things are and I don't use them. Journey Women's Law in the Qs. First targets, 111.50, 111.65, 111.70, 11.75. Every penny, 112 is a dream target today in the QQQs and I don't think it gets there. I think 11175 if you hold it all day. Probably 11150 is the morning move. If it gets up there by lunch, take it. It's a small move for the day, but showing a sign of strength. It's a pillar of strength, this market. And you could put the stop up now for sure, like I said. I wouldn't worry about a journey woman. I don't use the things. I never even saw they were there. All right, have a good day, everyone. Good job today. Click in and out. It's the way we like it. I'd love to get a runner tomorrow or something I can grab my teeth into. I have no idea if we will or not. Okay? Have a good day. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you.